just got home from work not too long ago. And Darius went to go feed Pia. As you know, some of you know we have a pet. We have recently got a piglet, pot belly piglet named Pia. We named her Pia Malia. She been doing good. She been normal. And now all of a sudden today, she's just like, she won't eat. She don't want to stand up. I don't know what's wrong with her. She was eating fine last night. So what I did, I did some research. And um, they said that it can be that she is cold or that she is too warm. So give her a bath. And we got her wrapped up. She looked kind of out of it. I got the blanket on her so she can stay warm. I really don't know what's wrong with her at this moment. Um, I tried to look up some farmer numbers to contact them and ask them what they do when they pigs are like this. Um, I've read that pigs are pretty good at hiding that they're sick. So we wouldn't even know if she was sick or not. Um, it also said that some mothers want to have baby pigs that their pigs be fine one day and then they wake up the next and then the piglet is gone, like, passed away. Um, we're not hoping for that because we just got her and she borrowed a family. And second of all, she's just too young for that. So, that's so what we're trying to figure out. We're doing research for like a couple hours. Um, I just want to keep you guys informed because I feel like you, you are a part of our family. So you guys should know what's going on with our daily lives. Um, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> this video not gonna be that long. Um, something else happens, I'll let you guys know. So you guys, it is now nine or 10-ish. Um, I've been checking up on Pia. I've been looking at her heart rate. Um. It's been going down. I called like several doctors and vets and animal hospitals, but nobody wants to take her because they say she's an exotic animal. They need to take dogs and cats. She was just breathing and moving. And then she just took her last breath. Um, so, Pia Malia's gone. She took her last bowel movement, which is crazy. And she took her last breath. My baby's dead. I'm going to call, I'm going to call the animal hospital and see can, can they cremate her because I don't want to bury her. Call the hospital. See what they say. See you guys later. Pia passed away. Don't no, for real. She just passed away. <laughs> oh, don't cry, buddy. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> she just passed away like 15 minutes ago.
can't cry, okay? You gonna make me cry. I'm not trying to cry. I don't even know what to say to me. This was our like our first animal together. And like to know that she passed away is just sad. I mean, you know we only had her for like a short amount of time. Right. But still, like, you grow attachment to something so easily. You crying big boy. You okay, booty? Yes. Tell her. Mm. Tell the family that you okay. Okay. So. Why does she have to be in a garage though? It. I think because she got a blockage in. Oh yeah. Her body's stiff. Um, I think she caught pneumonia. I asked the doctor. I called the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just arrived to the animal hospital. I don't know if y'all can see that. Noah's Animal Hospital. Um, they're gonna do the. We made pee for us. Mm -hmm. Pee. 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 So. Uh, I called and we're gonna um, cre we're gonna do a cremation. Grab it. Thank you. Sorry I'm not really talking like that in this video, it's just, I guess I'm still shocked because I was supposed to be, as y'all know, like our first pet animal to go on a farm. So like, I don't know, it still ain't hit me all like that. Mm. Good girl. <laughs> 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 